Alright, before we start comparing the different side hustles and how you can start making money right now, we gotta realize something, that making money is kind of a skill. Let me prove this to you, let's go. This is a Rubik's Cube. 99% of people don't know how to solve this. Many people just pick up a Rubik's Cube and they try and solve it on their first day. And it never works out that way. And the reason for that is they don't understand how it works. And the same thing can be said about businesses. Once you learn the way a business model works, its patterns, and the way things should be done, you'll start to see that your business can be successful just like this. But it takes practice and a lot of consistency. All right, let's get straight into the different side hustles. From the comfort of your own home to the bustling markets, we're going to unveil various opportunities that could boost your income. But remember, every hustle has its ups and downs. So stay tuned till the end to discover my personal favorite, which could be a game changer for you. Now, let's dive into the world of side hustles. First up, we have dropshipping. It's an e-commerce model where you don't need to stock inventory. Instead, you act as a middleman, connecting customers to suppliers. Your store showcases products, and when someone makes a purchase on your store, the supplier ships directly to the customer. Low upfront costs and no inventory make it an attractive option for you to consider. You can offer a wide variety of products without the hassle of storage and shipping. But competition can be fierce, and maintaining a smooth customer experience with various suppliers can be quite challenging. From South Africa, however, I would highly recommend that you do international dropshipping because delivery times are really long to get to South African customers. Anyways, let's talk about a spin-off from dropshipping called Drop Servicing. Now, drop servicing applies the same concept as drop shipping, but focuses on services instead of physical products. You become a service broker, essentially, connecting clients with freelancers or agencies that can fulfill the client's needs. High demand for various services allows you to find lucrative niches and set your prices because you can offer services that are high in demand. Ensuring quality service delivery from third-party providers can be quite crucial to maintaining a good reputation. Let me introduce you to Lerato and Lisa. They run Social Solutions, a drop servicing business right here in South Africa. A local restaurant, Tasty Bites, needs social media marketing. Lisa connects them with a skilled social media manager, which will then handle their marketing. So Tasty Bites will then gain an online presence where Lisa and Lerato will earn a profit. That's drop servicing. So, are you ready to get into the exciting retail action? Well, marketplace flipping might be your thing. Marketplace flipping involves buying products at a lower price and selling them at a higher price on platforms like Facebook, OLX, or Gumtree. I don't think OLX is a thing anymore, actually. <laughs> Finding undervalued items and selling them at, it at the right time can lead to substantial profits, especially when the seller doesn't know the value of their product. Fluctuating markets and potential counterfeit products require careful research and pricing strategies to ensure that you don't get scammed. If you have a flair for fashion or creativity, starting your own clothing brand might be the path for you. Creating your clothing brand allows you to express your unique style while tapping into a dedicated audience. Brand loyalty can drive consistent sales and turn your passion into a thriving business. Standing out in a competitive market and managing production costs are significant challenges in this side hustle. So I would highly recommend finding a proper supplier and ensuring that the quality of your products are good. But are you a crafty genius in the kitchen? Where's the lamb sauce? Or talented with your hands? Well, selling crafts, food or drinks at food markets might be a delightful venture for you, especially in Johannesburg because markets are a thing. Participating in food markets enables you to showcase your creativity. What's this? It's an art project. Okay, I like it, Picasso. And connect directly with customers. Unique and high quality products can attract a loyal customer base and generate word of mouth marketing, especially if your food is really tasty. For this side hustle, seasonal demand and finding the right market for your products are essential consideration. Let's step into the world of finance and explore forex trading. I'm sure you've seen all of these forex gurus on Instagram or TikTok that are selling you a lifestyle. But let me explain to you what forex trading is. This involves buying and selling currencies or commodities 
aiming to profit from exchange rate fluctuations. The Forex market operates 24-5, which is basically just Monday to Friday, providing a lot of trading opportunities and potential high returns for you if you know what you're doing. But Forex trading is highly speculative and borderline gambling if you don't know what you're doing. It involves significant risk, so it's essential to educate yourself and manage your investments responsibly so that you don't get stuck in a pit. For the last side hustle, this is my favorite one, which I think can make you the most money in South Africa. So it is all to do with online retail. And this is the concept of selling on Takealot. If you didn't know, Takealot is a marketplace and the marketplace allows third party sellers like you and me to sell products on their platform. Takealot is South Africa's largest online marketplace. And this offers an excellent platform for you to showcase your products to a vast audience of 14 million active monthly users. Now, with a well-designed strategy and top quality products, Takealot's wide reach can bring you significant sales and that's a lot of money in your pockets. Although stiff competition among sellers requires unique offerings and effective marketing to stand out. So if you want to know my Takealot journey and how much money I've made on Takealot in these last few years, stay tuned for a future video where we're going to be covering all of that. One more thing, I want you guys to go into the comment section and tell us which one of these side hustles you want me to try out for a 7 or 14 day challenge to see how much money I can make from scratch doing that side hustle. And I'll show you guys from step one all the way to the end just so that you can also follow along and if it's profitable, try it for yourself. Let me know in the comment section. Oh, by the way, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.